Hi, West Bloomfield parents. I wanted to give you a quick overview of Canvas. Uh, you have the slides that will have uh, different links to the videos, but I'm just going to go over um, a little more specific details for you. All right, so uh, Canvas, as you know, is our new learning management system. This video here, it will actually give you um, an overview, um, an overview from like a student perspective. So you can kind of see uh, what to expect, what it's going to kind of look like. This next video uh, talks about the parent app. Uh, so it gives details about how you can access your students, your child's information um, through the app. Now you can also be an observer. So uh, this talks a little bit more about what that entails. And again, these are all linked, so you should be able to just hit it play and it should take you right there. Um, if for any reason it does not, I did put the uh, website where these came from. So if you just uh, simply go to the community.canvaslms.com, um, you're able to, without even logging in, you're able to register. This is an example. Once we get our logins for students, what it will look like. So what uh, we did was we took some samples. Uh, this We used Canvas in our uh, summer professional development for our teachers. So um, our teachers are kind of going through Canvas to see the features, and then they will be able to think, all right, how can I use those in my classroom? So here's an example of the templates. Uh, this right here would be the elementary. So you can see a heading at the top. I had to put into two pictures, but this would be the bottom and it would be quick access buttons here. So if you want to go right to like class info, maybe you've got the teacher's schedule. Maybe there's a list of the Zoom link, something like that. Uh, reading workshop, reading and writing it might take you to a mini lesson that students are to view. Um, maybe some different links. And then here's an example of the secondary template. And again, uh, teachers will personalize it uh, for themselves, but it'll have the same idea with a heading at the top, information, quick access buttons. And um, let's see, up here on the left, I don't know if you can tell, but it will say home at the top. So this is really an example of what the home page looks like. Here's a closer look um, at the quick access buttons. So there's really two ways to navigate through Canvas. One would be clicking on um, the quick access button. And another one would be on the left uh, toolbar menu, you could click on module. Here's an example of the dashboard. Uh, this is from our professional development. So this is what my dashboard currently looks like part of it. Uh, these would be the different courses and once you click into it then it'll take you through that entire course that's composed of modules here's a close-up of the home page oh good here's the example so whenever you click home it'll take you back to like the front page um, where those quick access links are and usually like the overview of um, the, the page so the home page um, i have everything turned on right now once we get students in, we'll only turn on the links that they'll need. But the main ones are going to be home and modules. Here is a close up of what it looks like when you click on module. So um, this again is from our professional development. So if we look at reading workshop, for example, if I open up this like category reading workshop, I'll have all the pages inside um, that make up the reading workshop module. So it's kind of like thinking about almost like a file cabinet and then a file and then pages within. What's really nice is that Google Apps can embed directly on the page. So um, this is just a screenshot that shows you the Google Slideshow is right in the page. And if I were to, you know, click next, then I would see all the slides. So a student um, doesn't necessarily have to open up a new window or go to a new tab. It makes it very convenient. Also, you are able to put links in. So um, sometimes that's a great option. So there's uh, lots of different options to do different things.
but hyperlinks, I believe they're called. What's really nice is there's a multiple ways for discussions, um, not just typing, but also recording conversations, talking to each other, asking questions. So just a quick example of what that might look like. Studio, uh, studio is really neat. It is um, basically taking a screencast or maybe a, you know, a video even from YouTube or somewhere, and you're able to stop at different parts and um, kind of go over some key ideas. You're able to do like a quiz, um, but it really helps with student engagement. And as teachers, we can go and kind of see the activity that's been on the page, how long the students have been viewing the video, multiple times and um, it really will help again with that student engagement and those um, follow-up conversations in the classroom. So here's uh, two examples that we used using Studio in our professional development. Not only can you embed the uh, Google apps, but you're able to use um, external apps like Flipgrid, Perusal, um, you know, there's many different ones that teachers love, their favorite ones. And so, um, for example, this Flipgrid, instead of clicking out of Canvas, you can um, answer your topic question directly on that page. This is something called the Rich Content Editor. So I want you to look right here at these tools. So whenever you see, like, I believe this is from a quiz. Yep, this is from a quiz. So whenever you see um, the Rich Content Editor, that means that you have options on how you would like to reply. Um, you could you know, type your answer and you could change your font and make it bold or even highlight certain things. You could add a picture. Um, maybe you even drew a scientific model or maybe you, um, you know, had something you wanted to show um, with a picture. You could link to another website or your slideshow if you made, but you can also uh, record. So you could do a quick video explaining your math procedure or um, how you relate to a main character, whatever it is. Um, again, the Zoom link, uh, it will embed right in Canvas. So um, once the Zoom links are listed or maybe there's a particular time your teacher would like to meet with a small group on a certain day, a certain time, um, then they can log right in through Canvas. Here's an example of a PDF that is uh, directly in the page. This particular PDF, I believe it's like 63 pages and you can just scroll through it right on there. Um, so same kind of thing with embedding like Google Docs and slides, you can also do it with PDFs. It's great for articles and um, you know maybe even different like um, reminders for students for like say writing workshop and they need to do certain things. You can put it right on there, almost like a poster. Here's an example of Google Docs. Um, we love Google Docs because students can collaborate together, you know, no matter where they're at. So um, this is an example of, you know, if students were to do some group work, they could access Google Docs right in Canvas and it's, you know, live. So they can change something in real time and it will update. This is an example of feedback. So this is a really uh, neat feature. Again, we're um, doing this this summer. We're learning as we go with our own professional development, but I just did an example of what some feedback could be. So when you're going through as a teacher, you can see all of their assignments and um, their quizzes, whatever it is, and you're able to give feedback, um, not just with like a rubric and points, which of course is great using a rubric, you can also uh, type your feedback and it will just go to that student and you can do a quick uh, recording. So if you want to, you know, reach out to them real quick. Also, you can do a voice record. So then it will, you know, listen to what you're saying and it will uh, type it out. Text to speech, I believe. All right. So thank you so much. I hope this uh, was a great overview and it helped. Don't forget to access the Canvas page. Uh, the link is at the beginning of this screencast and that should help you also. All right, thank you.